This picture shares a lot of similarities with last week's picture in that it's a leaf floating on the water with a nice sharp in-focus subject and a blurry background. But that's kind of where, I don't want to say that's where the similarities end. I, I used what I learned on the previous photo to take this photo. So I, I, after I took last week's photo, I kind of had an idea of how to go about capturing this particular photo, which I, I took not too far from where I took that other photo of the leaf. And I knew kind of where to stand, like how to hold myself, how to hold my camera. But what I was looking for here was something a little different. I, I wanted more than just a single subject. I wanted a, a subject with other things in it, but still a clear subject. I didn't create this scene. This is exactly how it was when I saw this leaf at the pond. But I really liked how when you see this photo, the first thing you notice is obviously the leaf right in the center. But then you can expand your view out from there and start to notice a lot more things like the uh, the the brown cypress needles and then that green cypress uh, twig. I don't know what you call it. And then all those little bubbles on the surface of the water. There's a lot of things going on here beyond just the leaf. And I really like that. I think it's cool to add more than just a single subject and a blurry background, which of course I, I enjoy that too. As you know, if you've looked at any photos on Weekly 50, you've probably seen a lot of those where it's a single subject and a blurry background, but it's also fun to see what else you can add. In this instance, it's kind of interesting because everything is on the same focal plane. All of these things are on the surface of the water, except like one of the cypress uh, needles is like, a bit submerged, but in general, everything is uh, is on the same equal focal plane. So how do you separate things? How do you draw the reader or the, the viewer's attention to just one thing? And in, that in this case, I did it with color and with a little bit of texture as well. So the leaf has some water droplets on it, which are kind of different than the rest of the photo that doesn't have as many water droplets on the surface of the actual uh, needles or that twig. And so that was one way I tried to differentiate the subject from everything else, even though everything is on the same focal plane. You'll also see a lot of um, dust spots on the surface of the water. I did clean a lot of those up in Lightroom, but there's there's so many of them. It's almost like a, um, it, it's like a fractal pattern where the closer you look, the more the fat, the pattern repeats. And uh, at some point I just had to stop and move on with my life and, and stop editing all those out. Exposure was almost identical to last week at 4.8, uh, ISO 250, 180th of a second, just enough to get a nice clean shot and um, uh, a good depth of field. The distance between the, the subject and the background is again, only a few inches. But when you shoot this close to your subject, and you you have um, even just a couple inches between your subject and, the, subject and the background, you can still get a nice blurry background. So that was always fun to do, or that, that kind of thing is always fun to do.